Okay, in this example, we're going to find the slope of the line that is represented by the equation y equals negative 3x plus 4. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to do this one in two different ways just to show you a couple different approaches. The first way I'm going to do is really just kind of knowing, uh, just kind of knowing a standard form in algebra. So if we have the y all by itself on one side of the equal sign like we do here, and we can write the form y equals mx plus b. This is what's known as slope-intercept form. It's known as slope-intercept form. And the reason why it's called that is whatever number's in front of x, again, we label it as m, that's going to be the slope of the line. So in this problem, without really doing too much, if I knew this slope-intercept form, I could say, hey, the slope of the line is going to be equal to negative 3, and I'm done. I can go on to the next problem. Whatever number is hanging out over here, the whole number, uh, it could be positive, it could be negative, that's going to be the y-intercept. So that's going to be a number, if you go to graph it, If you go to graph it again, it could be positive or negative. I'm going to make it, you know, positive, just to pick one. The value b is going to be where it goes through the y-axis. So if this was, you know, negative 3x plus 2, it would be going through the y-axis at the point positive 2. Okay, suppose you didn't remember this form. Well, the other way to do it is to use the, the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, we don't have points just yet. We don't have any points just yet to, to use in our formula, but we can, we can find some. So I'm going to make a little chart here. And I'm going to pick some values for x, and I'm going to get some values for y. So suppose I use, let's use 0 for a value of x. And I like to use 0 because it, well, it makes the arithmetic easy. So if we let x equal 0, I'm just going to substitute it into my formula and get a y value. So we'll have y equals negative 3 multiplied by x, which in this case is 0, plus 4. Well, anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So negative 3 multiplied by 0 is going to be 0 plus 4. Well, 0 plus 4 is 4. So it says if x equals 0, y equals 4. That means that the point 0, 4 is going to be a point on our line. We could graph that. We could put a little dot you know, at 0, 4. Let's use a, another x value because we need one more. I'm going to let x equal 1 again because it'll make the arithmetic easy. So if x equals 1, we'll have y equals, well in this case we'll have negative 3 multiplied by 1 plus 4. Well, negative 3 multiplied by 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 4 is going to be positive 1. So there's another point on our line, 1 comma 1. Well, now I do have two points, and I can use, a, I can use my, my formula. So I'm going to make this my x1, y1. And the point 1 comma 1, that's going to be my x2 comma y2. So... Let me, uh, I think we can fit it in here and not waste another piece of paper. So the slope, it's going to be the change in y. So I'm going to do y2 minus y1. Well, that's going to be 1 minus 4. And then in the denominator, we have x2 minus x1. Well, that's just going to be 1 minus 0. So 1 minus 0. Well, in the numerator, 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. In the denominator, 1 minus 0, that's just positive 1. Negative 3 divided by positive 1 is just going to leave us with negative 3. And again, uh, that's going to be our slope. So you can certainly see that, that knowing the slope-intercept form is a, a, is a much faster way to do it. Right? You can just pick it out and say, oh, that's the slope. Um, if you Again, if you weren't sure about this at all, this would be another way to do it. And also, too, if somebody said graph this, you know, that line, negative 3x plus 4, this would be a way that you could go about graphing. You could pick two points, and 
all we need is two points to graph the line. So I could put those two dots on my line. Let's pretend that this is 0, 4. Uh, 1, 1 would be a little bit down here. We'd play connect the dots. And that's even what the graph of the line would look like.